If there were no communication barriers, people would understand each other more easily. The initial steps to communicating better are recognizing that these barriers exist, identifying the most relevant barriers in a given communication, planning to overcome these barriers, and last but not least, putting this plan into practice. There are several possible barriers in communication with different natures. Some examples. A language barrier. Usually we don't express ourselves or understand messages in a second language as well as we do in our native language. Lack of attention or divided attention. For example, someone checking the phone while participating in another communication. Terms used. For example, professional jargons or even vocabulary not adequate to the situation. Problems on the communication means. For example, in telecommunications, connection problems and audio-video quality issues. Quality of the material used in the communication. For example, on a visual communication, such as a presentation with slides full of content. This can lead the audience to read the slides at the same time they are paying attention to what is being said by the presenter. Different paradigms between transmitter and receiver. Paradigm is usually a synonym of model or pattern, but in our context, it's a little more than that. A classical paradigm example is playing cards. If we talk about red cards, we think of hearts and diamond suites. Having a playing card of spades in the red color or hearts in black would be ruptures in the paradigm. If transmitter and receiver have different paradigms of communication or communication models, misunderstandings can happen. Emotions can be communication barriers too. If transmitter and receiver have incompatible emotional responses in a given communication, the transmitted message may have issues in its reception. One example. The transmitter tells a story that considers funny, while the receptor considers that it is not, or even judges it dramatic. The difference between how transmitter and receiver perceive the emotion in a message can then become a barrier. Therefore, in order to reduce the risk of eventual barriers in the communication, it is fundamental that the transmitter knows the interlocutor or message receiver. In our next video, we will talk about the importance of the message. Until then.